Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a video here on how much exercise is too much. And as you can see here in this photo, you know, this guy's taking a break and um, obviously uh, he was uh, exercising really hard. And that's what the picture is really supposed to portray. But when you're detoxing, it's completely different when you're trying to really move forward in your fitness goals versus trying to move forward with trying to detox and heal the body from any type of illness. And exercise is great for the human body and it is very important for the human body. But when you exceed what your body can normally handle and you're trying to detox, it's going to slow the process down. And this is a fact because when you're really exercising hard you do create more free radical damage sure there's antioxidants and a lot of them if you're following berries and herbs but when you exercise you are putting stress on the body and the more you do it the more stress on the body that's how muscle is built it's tearing it down building it back up so you might be wondering, well, what does this mean? Well, free radicals, as I've talked about many, many, many times, is basically, uh, it's an uncharged molecule, typically highly reactive and short-lived, and it has an unpaired electron, okay? So, what this basically means in a nutshell is that free radicals will have this unpaired electron, as you can see right here, it's going to be missing from the batch and then these antioxidants these are free radicals, these are antioxidants will come in and patch that up but if you have a lot of these free radicals coming in it's like a tidal wave of free radicals then you're going to have the problem of oxidation and I've talked about this in other videos when you break open an apple and it hits the air it turns brown it's basically what happens to our bodies. So you want to keep that exercise incorporated in your daily routine at not a very intense level. You can, you can go for 20, 30 minutes uh, and that should be about it. If you're going to be doing any weightlifting, you know, you should definitely stick around really one day a week at the most two, but Again, the more you're pushing it, the more you're pushing your body for the fitness, the more you're pushing back the detox. That's just what happens, folks. And exercise is fantastic. It helps move the lymphatic system. It will help in the process. But when you overdo it, it can actually put you in a way where you're slowing it down. So keep that in mind, folks. And any type of uh, oxidation is something that can be repaired in the body but if you're trying to repair damage and get the body moving with you know the limb system and really get the body in healing mode if you're repairing damage that you're doing to the body every day it's going to take a long time to heal it's just the way it is so i just want to be very upfront with people about that you can and you should exercise uh, you know, if you're just starting out, start out at your own pace um, and you, you know, work at um, what you can do. Don't worry about what someone else is doing. Always worry about what you can do because you can always build up from where you start. You could start where you could barely walk a few steps to where you could be running. It, it, you just have to build. Same thing with the process of detoxing. You can start with, you know, the berries and... Uh, uh, maybe you even incorporate some cooked food, which really isn't going to get the body detoxing. But you can say, "Hey, after 30 days, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take out these foods, and I'm going to replace it with more raw foods, and just move up that way." So there's there's plenty of ways to do that to kind of ease into it. Same thing with exercise, but moderation is key. Whatever is best for you, but don't stress out your body with it. Why, at least while you're detoxing. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.